Warning. Tomb of Annihilation spoilers ahead. We rejoin the standoff where Zaylee the Ranger, Torin the Paladin, Nulla the Druid, Barakas the Rogue, and Zandala face off against a formidable looking half-snake woman. She leads a large group of followers who have their weapons drawn. She eyes the party with a mischievous look before she opens her mouth to speak. But the snake woman is unable to get a word out as Zaylee fires two lightning arrows at her. The snake woman is bloodied by the damage and many of her followers are also hurt. In case you don't remember, Boblia, Zaylee's loyal mastiff, was petrified in the initial assault of the Fane of the Night Serpent. Don't mess with a girl with a bone to pick. Before we continue, please make sure you've subscribed to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Zaylee, keep her in one piece. But it gets snakes whole, roasted meat. Yeah, whole or pieces, it goes down all the same. Weirdly enough, the snake woman, despite looking quite hurt, still wants to talk. I get it. I didn't like him either, but can you not kill us? We're not the closest allies of late, and I assume he's dead as you're leaving his private chambers and are now trying to kill us. Perhaps we can come to some sort of understanding. Is anyone willing to talk? But it gets once more chicken. Give me back my f***ing dog. What happened to your dog? One of your pets turned her to stone. We don't really have the power to fix that. Is there something else we could offer you? But Akas wants half a metric ton of roast chicken. What's a metric ton? Uh, it would take too long for Badakas to explain. If you didn't agree with Rasda C, why did you follow him? I'm Iwanti. I serve Dendar the Night Serpent. Boo, stupid bitch. Such a judgmental thing to come from someone who attacks those coming to parlay. We have a common interest. Not interested. So what exactly is your job? I am the priestess of Dendar the Night Serpent. I serve no mortals he does not favor. There's a lot of things happening here, and most of them are invisible. This Yuanti's name is Fenthaza, and her primary purpose in the Fane of the Night Serpent is to torture and murder slaves in the name of Dendar the Night Serpent. In her spare time, she serves the ruler of the Fane, formerly Rosnesi, and helps that ruler usher in an era of darkness by summoning Dendar from its prison. But that's when Nala decides to do a quick mental check on Dendar the Night Serpent's general alignment and is successful in her recall of that information, though she has no idea that Fenthaza murders helpless slaves. While all of this is happening, Fenthaza appears quite sincere and like she wants to negotiate, but she makes one fatal error. If we leave now and take the slaves with us because we're taking the slaves with us, oh, I'm afraid I can't let you take the slaves. Oh, well, okay. She goes. What do you keep them for? To maintain the temple and sacrifice them to Dendar. You stupid, stupid. Zaylee knocks another lightning arrow and prepares to fire. I'm afraid you have chosen poorly. Fentaza, knowing full well that the parlay has crumbled, loses a fireball in the center of the party and vanishes. Her guards begin to flee the area in full retreat. Don't let her get away. She'll probably kill the slaves given half the chance. <laughs> Hey, Nala, can I get a lift? There is a swift, deadly pursuit through the temple. Nala carries Torin into battle while Zaylee runs as fast as she can, strafing the lead yuan with her arrows. Out of a sizable guard, only two yuan survive long enough to make it to a side chamber and barricade themselves in. Knock, knock! It's judgment time! That's not funny. But Ikas thought it was a little funny. Are you guys going to just stand there or are you going to break the door down? I've got snakes to slay. And you call But Ikas the murderous one. Torn kicks the door down and the party is greeted by the sight of Fenthaza, her remaining guards, and an air elemental. There's more to this snake than meets the eye. It seems. Torin charges the air elemental while Zaylee and Nala focus their assault on Fenthaza. Badakas gleefully stabs Fenthaza's remaining guards and hacks one of their arms off. Badakas was torn with indecision, but Badakas will eat the snake man first. Fenthaza dies, gurgling in her own blood as Zaylee executes her without a shred of pity or remorse. The air elemental is giving Torin a lot of trouble, but the four of them manage to take it down. With the Fane quiet, it's time to free the slaves. Slaves, we're here to save you. Sounds like a trick. Yay! If we open the doors, will you believe it's not a trick? No! More than a snake tree. Open the doors, leave them open, and walk away. They'll figure it out. They're in pits, though. Hey, Barakas, do you have your 50 feet of hemp and rope? Uh, of course. Why does Torin ask? I have an idea. 
To get the slaves out of the pits without using a lot of magic, Torin had Baraka sit on a hempen rope while slaves climb up on each side, counterbalancing the other's weight. It is an intensive process to liberate all 60 slaves from the pits, but the party isn't about to leave anyone behind. As everyone walks out of the fane and into the sunlight, the slaves and players camp in the palace ruins. The next day, they break camp and head outside the palace ruins while Nala shapes into an earth elemental and proceeds to collapse the fane by destroying a essential support pillars. Earth elementals can't move through worked stone, but it's reasonable that if Nala pulps the worked stone into dust and rubble, she can burrow through it. And she did. As the day ended, the palace ruins were fully collapsed down on top of the vein of the Night Serpent, sailing off its evil from Chult forever, or for a very long time. With all the ruckus Nala caused, the end of the second day brings a surprise visit from none other than the Red Wizards of Thay. Remember that the Red Wizards are also looking for puzzle cubes, and my players currently own all but two. Orvex looks nervous as the wizards approach, and the players grasp their weapons. But one wrong move, and many slaves could be easily incinerated by a fire. How will these negotiations go? You'll find out soon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. I'll see you all next time.